Okay, so uh, I've got a bottle jack underneath the engine with some wood holding going across the sump. Um, the reason I've done that, we're going to take the engine mount off on the top and I'll show you that in a second. Um, make sure you put a piece of wood or a something um, along the same substance as that just to hold the sump up. The sump is alloy, so you don't want to damage the sump. Don't put anything against the sump directly because you don't want to crack the sump or damage it in any way. Um, otherwise you're just going to create more problems and we don't be doing that. Uh, it just needs to take the weight of the engine so you've got to jack it up vigorously. It's just so it is supporting the engine on the one side. Um, if we go up top, I'll show you where we're going to take the, the, uh, the sump off or right, wrong. The, um, the engine at the front. So this is the engine mount that we've got to take off. It's uh, one, two, three. 16 mil bolts and I think it's uh, on uh, an 18 mil bolt. I think it's an 18 mil nut in there and that'll come away. And the reason we're taking that engine mount off is to gain access to this uh, this bar going from there all the way across to here. And the reason we're taking that off is to gain access to the fuel rail here and the fuel lines so they can come off to get access to the EGR valve which is underneath this EGR solenoid here. All right. Um, see how we get on.